In tonight's Real Truth Label Hunting, I'm in Hungary and I'm on the hunt for my first ever ray book amongst a beautiful backdrop and in a hunting area steeped in tradition. It's summertime here in Hungary and I've made the trek across the continent in the Great Wall Steed. I've met up with Tamas at Wonder Heart Hunting to try and bag my first ever ray book. As I'm hunting a new species of deer and in a very different environment to what I'm used to, it's all a very new experience for me. Team Wild's very own Ian Harford has taken plenty of beautiful animals in the Hungarian countryside over the past few years. There's an abundance of game in these parts and they breed them pretty big. My good mate Steve Wild took his first Raybok here recently too. And now, it's my turn. I've taken my fair share of deer for the table with Steve. The pair of us have knocked plenty of reds and fallow to keep wild butchers and venison, but I've never managed to take a roe yet. Roe deer are relatively small compared to other deer such as reds, fallow or seeker. They have short, erect antlers and reddish body with grey face. In these parts, the midday temperature in summer can easily rise above 40 degrees Celsius. The roe deer like to lay up the majority of the day and move at first light and last light when it's cooler. Roe bucks can be called in during the mating season, which is called the rut. They can regularly be seen bounding forward, following the sounds of a female, as we saw with Steve on his own excursion. hoping we will be just as lucky as we head out in the truck. The sun is fading in the sky and the temperature is dropping. Hopefully this is when the row will begin to move. However, before we hit the fields there's a safety measure that needs undertaking. This is the, the book for health and safety, so uh, the hunting area is split up for um, safety uh, sections yep. and all, all, always before you go out you have to come and check the book and make sure there's no one else on the sense. same place yeah. so we don't want to shoot yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, quite right, that's a good idea, yeah. I've not seen that before. <laughs> so we've come in, we've, we've just um, come off this um, uh, kind of a main road, we're about about a quarter of a mile into the estate. Tamas says there's some good um, uh, fields with maize and then stubbles to the next them. So, I think they reckon that's gonna be a hot spot. We're gonna have a look around. So what are we gonna be looking for today, Tamas? Uh, we're looking for uh, the coal bucks. Yeah. Because we, you know, uh, coal bucks are not, not good to, to breed. So the breeding season is the best time to uh, judge them because we, we judge them first and select the, the cold ones yeah. and, and shoot them. And this being the rut, the rut started here now, isn't it? So with it being the it's, rut, they'll be the, quite bold. Yeah, the rut is, is on the peak now. But this ought to do the trick, I think, uh, if we find any. Have you seen these yet? It's the Sour 101. I saw on the CLA first. Yeah, it's a cracking bit of kit in 308. I've been using it quite, um, quite a lot just recently. 150 grain Lapur megs. I think it's big. Should do the trick, yeah, <laughs> yes. should definitely do the trick. <laughs> We head slowly down a dirt track road next to a maize field. See, it's going off into the, into the crop. It's into the sunflowers now, gone. It was across there. It was a deer, but I don't know what it was. It's gone into that, that other patch of sunflowers. deer on the move. Then, Tamas spots something in the next field. We stop the truck and decide to head off on foot. We 
there have been so many deer in the move already, we need to be quiet and careful. Peter, the professional hunter, peers around the bush. There's Ro moving on the edge of the maize crops in the neighbouring field. Peter looks pretty happy with what he sees. We move across the field using the tree line as cover. Peter spots the buck and sets up the sticks. I check which buck Peter wants me to take. I'm ready the rifle and get the buck in my sights. By now, my heart is pumping and the adrenaline is really racing. I make a good shot and Peter is very happy. Great shot by the Sour 101. Wonder Hart, no stranger to Team Mar TV. We just come on this ground, come up this bit of a track, and we saw two kids immediately. Tamas, you knew straight away what we what we were facing here. And I think it was a great stalk. Oh, man, and a perfect shot. So. That was awesome. Yeah, I didn't even time to put my jacket on or anything. That's, <laughs> that's fantastic. I think oh man, we need to find your yeah. We'll go over yeah, yeah. yeah. We head over to the box as the sun begins to drop and the light fades. Peter presents me with the age-old tradition of a leaf for my hat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. This is the tradition after the after the hunt. So we give respect to the to the animal because the, the animal gave its life to our passion and also to our food because we, we don't do waste we always eat what we shoot. It's like when the you know when people die and uh, on the we give flowers to the we put flowers to the grave. Yeah, so this is the this is the Hungarian it's, it's a real mark of respect. Mm -hmm. Nice little coal box. Very yeah, off there. A, yeah. Uh, probably, so. yeah. Probably he was a he was a good fighter, you know. Because yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think he lost his uh, sixth point in the yeah in the fight with the other one. Yeah. And I just I think we're just lucky with this weather because it's a little bit cool down. And this helps to uh, to run the rut really. Yeah. And we saw it was a very very intensive rot just uh, chasing the chasing the dirt so it's, it was i think it was it's awesome great, habitat the, the great, ground the ground is awesome habitat as well isn't it you know with the with the stubbles and then the sunflowers and, and what have you and the maize it's just it's great ground for them isn't it you yes. know for, for yeah. the for the rose so yeah yeah that's why the the, the rural population is so strong here yeah so you know, that 150 grain lapur meg did its job absolutely made up with that Awesome. Thanks again, Tamas. <laughs> Thank You're you. Well welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna field dress the deer now um, before we take him back to the larder. Now these boys over here do it a bit different to how we do it. So, Tamas, if you just talk us through the Hungarian way of doing it or the European way of doing it. Yeah, it's the European way. Um, we always field dress uh, the animal on the field, which is obviously field dressing because. We have to take the guts out as soon as possible because now it's uh, 7 o'clock in the evening and it's still more than 30 degrees. So we need to be very quick to save the, uh, save the venison because we don't, want to, we don't want to waste the venison. So and all, uh, uh, the field dressing is always the professional hunter's job. So he never left to do this thing because they are very experienced. We will see Peter is how quick.
The Robux chest has opened up and it's clear that this shot was very good indeed. This 150 meg, uh, 150 grain Lapua meg has really done its job. It's mushroomed. You can see the colossal damage it's caused in there. The deer was quartering away from me. So the shot wasn't going to go through and through. I knew it was going to go um, kind of diagonal through it. Um, but the way it's happened, I don't think it'll have caused too much. We might have lost a bit of, yeah, we'll have lost a bit off uh, his shoulder. I think it's only a few ribs, yeah. really, because it was behind yeah. the shoulder. Yeah, we might, so yeah. It's, uh, so as, as far as um, meat damage is concerned, it should, it should be fine. So absolutely chuffed to bits for that. Awesome, awesome experience, man. Excellent. All right, let's go back to the larder, eh? When we get back to camp, the guys have a nice surprise in store as I partake in local tradition and get a whack across the backside with a stick. Hunters that take a new species are always given the ceremony in this part of the world, and I'm happy to be part of it. Another fantastic Hungarian hunt with the guys at Wonderheart, and I've taken my very first robot. Big thanks to the guys at Wonderheart.